I appreciate your patience um, in how long it's taken me to play the game. The number of, I feel like the number of streams I've canceled recently, um, it's been a weird time for everybody, um, both like on a global scale and on a personal scale. Um, but, you know, we still have friends, we still have each other, we still have good things and good times. And a cat. I have a cat. This is good. Um, yeah. So let's see. Any exciting news or housekeeping or anything like that? So, oh, 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 there are a couple of things before we dive into this game that I want to, that I want to mention. Okay, first of all, we were talking about playing Suikoden next, <clears throat> but what you might not realize is that in two or three weeks, it's going to be the fifth anniversary of Undertale on Tuesday, which I feel is a sign that I should pick up Undertale again. Uh, and I don't know if I'll actually play through Undertale again, or if I'll just like... go through it for a single stream. Um, but I think it might be interesting. I think it might be nice. It could be the, my worst idea ever. It is possible. Um, but I think I'd like to... I'd like to try... I played an Undertale fan game or two, Dominic, but I, I just... There's something appealing at uh, the, the thought of um, going... Revisiting... One of the things that I've learned from playing through Final Fantasy VI this year is that you bring the you that you are now and all of the time that has passed since the last time you played that game to the experience with that game. Um, and so I kind of want to see what will returning to the world of Undertale be like. Um, you know, it, it has in some ways been a life-changing experience. Um, just like Final Fantasy VI was life-shaping for me. Um, you know, and I will introduce you all to the Suikoden series after <laughs> this, perhaps. Or maybe we'll take a, a week in the middle. Um, <clears throat> I have seen the Bedlump mod. Yeah, I know, right? Five years already. There's a lot of things celebrating their five-year anniversary. Um, but yeah, it'll be fun to, to introduce everyone to Suikoden as well. Um, so maybe I'll do, like, we'll talk about it in Discord and on social media to kind of make some plans there. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. I've always kind of played my streams by ear, I guess. So I'll be like, I'm going to play this game. And then I like put it off and play three games instead. Um, so <laughs> that's the, um, the other bit of housekeeping is I have continued to work on my Final Fantasy VI fanfic. It now has 22,000 words. <laughs> so if you are interested in, um, reading... A novelization of oh my god thank you chrono a novelization of this game uh it's i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep going through it <laughs> and uh and chrono is my hype man thank thank you chrono um yeah i'm actually super proud of it um so if you like the way that i talk about stories in video games um and would like to see my take on a story in a video game you can do that now. I've been told it is visceral. <laughs> Look, it's not my fault that I like melodrama and tragedy. It's Final Fantasy VI's fault. So with that housekeeping, is there, are there any other housekeeping things I need to mention? I don't think so. So I think we might be ready. <laughs> you miss my face, Sam. Well, my face is right here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you Sam, Sam, like Sweet and Sam? Oh, you are! Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sam and I have known each other since we were teenagers. Because... We met through the Suigoden fandom. Then <laughs> we were part of a play by post Suigoden game. <laughs> and now we're friends in real life as grown ups. It's very exciting. Um, does that make Sam my oldest friend that comes to my streams? I don't know, because I've got a couple of friends from college who come by. 
He might be my oldest friend, Sam, that comes to my streams. One of my high school friends, but I think I might have known you since before I knew him. Wow. We go way back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sam... Sam also, like, writes for an RPG-centric website and is generally a cool, nerdy person. So, um, yeah. So we're going to be playing through this game and maybe beat it, although, I don't know, I've been live for over 10 minutes and we haven't gotten to Kefka's Tower yet, so... I think you're cool. Honestly, I think you guys are, like, all cool folks. Oh my god, it's so great to see these characters because I was just writing about them. I love them so much. Oh my god. No, no, folks, you don't understand. You don't understand. I love this game so much. I love these people. Look at this, like, right down here. Here's the, like, Lauren's top squad of radness. Look at this. It's the Figaro's and Locke and Sully's. I like how Sully's is, like, everyone else is, like, pacing around and she's just, like, sitting there. You know? She's, like, she and, and Shadow are brooding. Is anyone else brooding? Setsu would be brooding by the window, but he's not because I'm playing as him. And these two are being confused. Yes, here's Woo! <laughs> I wasn't joking, <laughs> by the way. If you haven't caught my, uh... Oh, that's true, Cyan does brood down there. If you haven't caught my stream before, I don't like Amaro, but I like Amaro a million times more <laughs> now that his name is Woo! <laughs> Uh, no, because we're going to go land in Kafka's tower. Yeah, like I said, like, I feel like Gogo -Go and- No, Tara, 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 no, Tara, I- No, okay. I thought we were going to be stuck on the airship for all the time. Oh my god, it's like how detailed and beautiful the graphics are. I love this game. I love this game so much. Yeah, I actually thought of you as I was saying that, Brennamania. For anyone who doesn't know, Brennamania has a dog named Terra, who's named after this Terra, but his Terra is not green. At least she wasn't the last time I saw her. But you posted a photo of her where I could see it earlier today, so unless she has turned green in like the last couple of hours, we can assume that she's a mono Terra. Branford is a fine last name. Hey, Kent! What's up? Oops. So I can hit the right button. I hit the right button. Oh, I'm so proud of me. Alright, I'm counting on you folks to. Okay. We're not gonna make the mistake we made last time. Sabin, you're going over there. You're gonna you're gonna be our babysitter. <laughs> Cause somebody's got to. Alright. My OTP. Can't split them up. Um hopefully. We'll see if I get to him. It is the best OTP. It is my ultimate OTP. Man, I love, like, people kept asking me for the first, like, few months that I was streaming this game, Lauren, would you like to see Final Fantasy VI remakes? Like, Final Fantasy VII remake? And I'm in, like, yeah, but... Anyway, now I'm writing it. <laughs> making, making some plot changes, playing up the drama. I'm gonna keep talking about it because I just posted 7,000 words today and I'm really proud of it because I didn't write like at all last year or the year before so it's like incredible to be not okay uh, you don't have to use everyone in the cast for this dungeon though you could just not I don't know if I'm doing this right okay hold on 
You should always put Gogo -Go in a party with Sabin because then you have two Sabins. But I actually don't know if that's a good idea. Oh no. Can these can this team do enough damage? Help me out here, folks. Oh, that's right! I can just empty the silverware drawer. Okay. So... Here we have some good magic representation and some decent fighters, I think. They're like a little low level. Why is Locke... Hold up. Why is... No, I'm really confused about my levels. Why is Sabin level 45 and Locke level 35? Oh, Gogo -Go doesn't have to be on, in the same team as... Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Let us put... You can go... Uh... Should I put Gogo -Go somewhere else so we can have a second Sabin? Well, Squizgar, that's what I've been saying all along, is that... Um, a remake is going to make certain narrative choices rather than being a direct recreation. Like, that's why it's a remake. And in a game, especially from this era, there's so much room for interpretation that um, they're going to interpret something differently than you interpret something. And you have to either be okay with that or well, you have to either accept and go along with the, like, for the ride with whatever they want to give you. Um, or decide not to, um, but you are going to disagree with it at some point. So, yeah, Tara and friends. Final Fantasy Seven. I mean, I don't like its characters or story, so I'm really not equipped to say. Um, but I'm really excited about playing the remake because it's the sequel to Crisis Core and I really liked Crisis Core. Uh, I don't want Nomura anywhere near Final Fantasy VI. I think it's it, it does plenty fine with its melodrama and tragedy. It doesn't need... <laughs> I have really nothing nice to say about Nomura's narrative tendencies, so I won't. Um, the, the upside if Nomura were to make Final Fantasy VI Remake, is that it would never come out. It would come out in 10 years and be under a different name. Oh, man. Nomura isn't working on 14. Nomura has nothing to do with 14, right? They wouldn't let him anywhere near it. That's entirely, entirely Yoshi P. Yoko Taro could do... Yoko Taro could do, uh maybe do Final Fantasy VI as I understand it. No, I don't think Nomura did it. If he did, it might have been on the original 14 that was terrible. Yoshi P has single-handedly saved Final Fantasy XIV. I am distressed! I don't like Nomura. I occasionally like things he's connected to despite him. But I don't like him. <laughs> Boy... I don't know if I- should I include this ramble? I guess nobody on YouTube who is going to be watching this- this stream is somebody who's going to be like, oh no, she's talking about unrelated stuff. I made it through all those other times she talked about unrelated stuff, but this is the deal breaker. Possibly Squizgar, maybe. Mostly I want it to be character driven. That's the thing. Oh, I haven't played Shadowbringers, but I will I will dread his raid. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, yeah, no, I I thought that Kingdom Hearts was 
cute and kind of kind of dumb, but cute and fun and charming. Um, but then it went all drama, and I didn't like that. I don't like Final Fantasy VII. I don't like Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, I played Kingdom Hearts one. Um, I thought it was cute and dumb, and charming and colorful and compelling, but also dumb. Um, and then it tried really hard to take itself seriously with Kingdom Hearts 2 and I was watching someone else play it and I just stopped. Um, so, do what you will with that. Um, yeah, no, plenty of people like Kingdom Hearts 2 and beyond. Like, lots of people- Nomura would not have his hands all over so many games if people didn't like them. People like them. I don't. Therefore, I'm not people. That's how logic works, right? What fallacy is that? You know, I don't think that Final Fantasy XV was getting anywhere under Nomura's control, and it's a hot mess now. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yes, Blues, although you are a robot, and I'm not sure what I am. Any ideas, so? So, so. Baby. She doesn't know. Yeah, that's part of the problem that I have with this squeeze guard. Is like, I am totally fine with over the top melodrama. Even to the point of absurdity. Locke's backstory is to the point of absurdity. He's still my favorite character from like anything ever. Um. It's not necessarily, um, a deal breaker, uh, but there's, there's ways to do it. Uh, you guys don't want me to play the original Final Fantasy VII or Kingdom Hearts 2 or any of those on stream, unless you want to see Lauren taking something apart. And you know, maybe I'd find something to enjoy in it. Um, it's one of the things that is nice is getting people um, to share their experiences and me getting a renewed appreciation for something that maybe I didn't fully appreciate based on their perspective. Um, because I try to make, I try to make a point. I don't say it is bad. I say I don't like it. I don't like Final Fantasy VII. I just don't. I can talk about why it didn't work for me and why I think it did things badly. Um, but... Okay, so you can say that, like, a gameplay system is actually flawed, but when it comes to, like, stories and stuff like that... Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, I feel like even Kingdom Hearts fans do tend to love Kingdom Hearts despite itself. Um, but no, like, like, for example, like, I love this game. Um, but because someone was talking to me about a different interpretation of Strago, because I was saying I don't like Strago and Realm, and I'm not really sure why, other than the fact that they're comic relief. And so somebody was like, hey, have you considered thinking about Strago this way? And I was like, no, I actually like him now. I think maybe there were a couple of you that, like, tag-teamed on, like, providing some, some suggestions in that, in that stream that was really interesting. Um, and so, like, I... And I think, well, honestly, the comparison <laughs> was um, that kind of like the, the, the last of their people having to keep who they are kind of like under wraps to avoid persecution and the people who tried to wipe them out. Um, like, imagine him as your little Jewish grandpa, <laughs> which I have, having had a little Jewish grandpa myself, I have, a, I have a soft spot for that. So now that I look at Strago, I think of him as a little Jewish grandpa and I have to like him. <laughs> um, but okay, we'll get to the game. This is, okay, so this is why I don't know if we're going to beat the game this week. We probably will. Um, but uh, but yeah. So um, yeah, I know Chrono. I know. I'm very aware. It's actually been 26 minutes. <laughs> um. 
So it is, it is important to be able to hold on to your own opinions, even if you disagree strongly with someone. You know, even if someone makes a compelling case for why they like something or feel a certain way about something, you are under no obligation to agree with them. You are not wrong for holding your opinions, even if other people, multiple other people disagree with you. Um, again, things kind of get iffy if we start talking about things like people's, like, like human rights and stuff. But if we're talking about stories and entertainment and what works for us and what doesn't work for us, you're allowed to have opinions that other people don't share. And you're allowed to listen to someone's opinion and even say, oh, I see where you're coming from. Um, and not have to adopt it yourself. Um, and that's something that I think... <laughs> It's something that I, that I, that's very near and dear to my heart because when I was younger and actually for most of my life, I let other people's opinions overwrite my opinions. Um, and so I've talked a bit, especially when we were playing Celeste, if you were there for that, you might've heard me talk about the process of coming to understand my own identity and that I have an identity of my own. Um, and then, and then figuring out what those personality traits, oh, Anakin, thank you. Um. That, that, that I have had to figure out, you know, what are my personality traits? Who am I? What kind of a person am I? And having to kind of construct that from, from, uh, from scratch, kind of, as an adult, um, which not everyone has to do. Some people do, more or less. I had to do it all the way. Uh, oh, Skywalker! Like, Waka! Like, Final Fantasy X! Oh my god, that's really clever! Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, I, sorry, I just got that because of what Chrono said. Um, but no, um, in addition to having to figure out who I am, bye Sam, take care, stay safe, um, playing, uh, or in addition to having to figure out who I am, I've also had to figure out, you know, what my opinions are of things, and I've had a lot of people in my life who are very much like, you must agree with me, <laughs> or you're wrong, and so, living on my own as an adult, without like a partner um, or a sibling or somebody to forcefully push their opinions in the way of mine um, I get to figure out like you know what do I think about these characters what do I think about these games and these stories and it turns out that my uh, my opinions Renovania thank you that's really sweet it's a pretty great name it really is. Um, but like I've, I've had, and, I, and the, these people meant no harm by it, um, but they were convinced that they were right and I was wrong and, and, and in my wrongness, I was doing something that a person who wasn't, you know, smart or thoughtful or of discriminating taste or whatever. Um, and so I've had to learn, like, for example, like my sister doesn't like Tara in this game at all. I actually really like Tara, but I had to get to a point where I was allowed to like Tara even though somebody that I knew didn't like her, um, and it's kind of been this ongoing process. Um, and so I want to make it really clear, I can be super critical of things that I don't like. Like I'm not a big fan of what I know of the later Kingdom Hearts games. I don't like Final Fantasy VII. Um, that doesn't mean that Final Fantasy VII is bad. I can talk about things that I th where I think it, it did a bad job <laughs> attempting what it was trying to do with n narration or characters. Um, but it's completely valid for you to love Final Fantasy VII, and I have friends for whom it's like one of the most important games of their the way that it is for them what Final Fantasy VI is for me. And I've had friends who were like, you know, Final Fantasy VI is a hot mess, especially in the world of Ruin, when like the character development just kind of stops. And I'm like, you know, it's a valid complaint. It's not a deal breaker for me. But I do understand why it would be a deal breaker for other people. Um, and I... If you start talking to me about Star Ocean IV, I'll get really angry because my objections to Star Ocean 4 are that it sexualizes children <laughs> and treats its female characters disrespectfully. Um, and so that is, that is a case in which I will say, like, objectively, I think that's wrong. I think that's bad and I will criticize it. And if somebody s tells me that that's okay, I will argue with them. Not just like have a disagreement and a discussion, but I will argue with somebody who tries to tell me that's not a problem. 
Um, but for the most part, that's not generally the issues that we have with games and books and movies and things like this. Um, for the most part, it's a, it's a disagreement about personal tastes, which is valid. And some people prioritize things differently than others. And some people have different, like, soft spots where they'll forgive a lot if it pushes their buttons just so. I actually like Star Ocean 3, I'm not gonna lie. Um, there was some objectionable stuff in it, but not nearly to the degree of 4. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, uh... So I think that before, like, I go off on how much I dislike a game, especially because, like, you guys are tuning into my stream, and uh, I don't want it to seem like you're like, oh, well, I listen to Lauren and she knows about stories. She talks about stories and narrative and characterization, so she must be right. Like, no, I'm not. I mean, I, I, I appreciate it when people are like, I never thought about it that way. Or like, oh, this gives me a different appreciation than I had. Like that, I'm happy for. But please don't ever feel like I'm ever saying you... The, the, the thing you like is bad and you should feel bad. Unless it's like defending the sexualization of a child in a game in which case like we've got an actual moral issue there at stake um short of something like that like no you shouldn't feel bad if you if you love Nomura and his approach to narrative like more power to you you enjoy that Final Fantasy 7 like you just like like eat that Kingdom Hearts with a spoon just like snarf it down like it's soft serve and like go for it that's totally legit. <laughs> oh yes, but you might get a zipper caught in your throat. Um. Anyway, shall we go to Kafka's Tower? Is this an acceptable? Is this an acceptable setup? Did I do okay? I'm gonna like equip my team once we get there. Hi, Chiefs. How are you doing? Well, see, that's the thing is, that's why I liked Kingdom Hearts 1. It's not trying to be a good story. It's charming and melodramatic and kind of sweet and sad. And it's great. Kingdom Hearts 1, even for me, was very much a success. Oh, man. So I like Lunar Silver Star for the Sega CD better than Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Is the original is darker, and you know me. I <laughs> like melodrama, tragedy, darkness. Yes. I've actually never heard anyone say that Lunar was essential playing material. Did my controller die? Hold on. Oh! No, I was just off of the window. Man, Candle, I don't know, but I'm probably not going to divide them up into character groups because I'm not sticking to the four-person party. Well, let's see, MP, like, I don't know what your introduction to RPGs was, but for people who grew up in the play PlayStation 2 era of JRPGs, coming back to a Super Nintendo game is not very easy or fun. Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of, is everybody equipped? I, I don't want to take for granted that they're equipped. Okay, they look equipped. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, good news though, folks. My memory is not a trash can anymore. It might be a recycling bin, but it's not a trash can. I noticed that today. So maybe, maybe 
We will come to a point where it functions. We're not there yet, but today, three separate instances, I was like, oh, my friend had that thing happen yesterday. I should check in and see how they're doing. How is your first day of class? How was that meeting you had with a coworker? Are you feeling any better since you were sick yesterday? Like all in a row. This is really exciting. <laughs> Cause I don't know how long it's been that my memory has been, a oh, Sophie, has been in a absolute trash can. It's not even like it was like black hole and then maybe upgraded to trash can, which is admittedly, you can technically get stuff out of a trash can. I don't think you can get stuff out of a black hole, you know? Yeah, I don't have generalized anxiety disorder, fortunately. I have other fun things, but that's not one of mine. Um. Okay, well, Blues is gonna science at me and tell me whether we can take things out of black holes. I can't. Whereas I could go over and I could take a thing out of a trash can if I wanted to. I've been really worried too, but I kind of feel like maybe the meds are doing something. Maybe. Oh man, Yonk Thulu. Yeah, I was undiagnosed bipolar for a long time. In my case, the meds that I take um, kind of affected my memory and my focus a little bit, but they keep me stable. So it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Hmm. But yeah, so I've been taking supplements to try to make sure that I Hey, Yonk Thulu, me too! That's the same med I that's the same med I take. So we, we are we are med buddies. <laughs> it's good, it's a good one. It has the least side effects of any of the mood stabilizers. Medis, med buds. Why does everybody have the same gear? Gogo should be in the back row, you're right. Should anyone be in the front row? Gogo, what have you got equipped? Blitz. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't know what I was saying because I got distracted. But I feel more like this is like being distractible instead of because my brain. Thank you, Young Thulu. It's nice of them to send these hooks, like, to a few different. Oops. Hello. Maybe Locke will level up. Man, I almost. I almost started seeing the battle theme. Wait, 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 are there multiple ones in here? Wait, what's going on? Is this supposed to happen? Yeah, no, I recognize your, your name, Young Thulu, I recognize you. Oh, okay. Okay, so... So Deep Shock, I accidentally glitched the game with a uh, with Realm's sketch glitch <laughs> by accident, <laughs> and it turned into a million Illuminas and Marvel shoes, which I didn't even know existed in the game. <laughs> so, so it's gonna be okay that my parties are like super. Uh, Yeah, well at this point... Oh man. Let's just like throw some dirks. Let's just throw some dirks, why not? What's, what harm's it gonna do? Oh, I should probably kill the behemoth first, shouldn't I? Dirk's probably not gonna do a lot. Oh, that's okay. Is that more than he does normally? Throw some dirks. Just throw some dirks. Just. Yeah. <laughs> Look at us go. And <laughs> just. Yep. Oh my goodness. 
Well, these folks are gonna catch up, no problem. Isn't Edge's name Edward or Edgar? Oh man, somebody pulled up a Crisis Core quote that is clearly me complaining about um, <laughs> my least favorite part of that game. Did you know that I don't like Genesis? I know, I've been keeping it close to my chest, but uh, jeez. Sophie wants to go out to the living room, but then she'll go out to the living room and then she'll yell. You're fine, Soph, Soph. Edward, Edward Geraldine, really? So it becomes E-D-G-E, -E, Edge? That's funny. Man, Edge is the ultimate rogue boyfriend who will like fall over if you breathe on him. He's not 15, right? He's a little older than that, right? I actually don't know. How old are the characters? I mean, like... Oh, I should probably heal Shadow. Sully's... Not Sully's. Uh, Cecil and Rosa are grown-ups. Yeah, Edge is just dumb. Is his problem. Oh no, I'm taking damage. Whatever will I do? Probably heal with the character who's not very good. Sorry, Setzer. I don't know that I would say Edge is a himbo. He doesn't have the charming... Oh, Like... No, don't kill me! Oh good, you didn't kill me. Thank you for not killing me. Oh, I didn't heal. I didn't recover my party's magic. Well, that's fine. We went shopping at some point and got a million of everything. Yeah, like, Edge isn't sweet and naive. He's just dumb and immature. And I love him. Don't get me wrong. So, uh, way, way, way back in the day when I would go around um, to anime conventions and sell my artwork, um, and I had a lot of artist friends, um, one of my really good friends whose art is fantastic, um, and even then was fantastic, she would do these character pictures of, like, basically groups of characters that had things in common, um, like, basically similar archetypes, like, I think she had, um, Sally's Beatrix and I don't remember, but she would, like, do them in, like, groups of three like that, um, Yes, I remember the tent glitch. Oh, what? Somebody here doesn't have the shoes. Um, and so the obvious choice would have been Locke, Edge, and Zidane. And she didn't do that. She did, like, all of the rest of them. Like, like all the other archetypes. But she didn't do that one. And I was so upset. So upset. <laughs> Because, uh, oh, I guess there's voice acting in one of those games, isn't there? So I have to figure this out. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Sorry. Um, no, I can pick up where I was. Where was I? Where was I? Oh, yes. I was very, very, very sad that the, the thing I was most, the one that I was waiting for, because, because I mean, obviously those are the characters that are, those characters are going to go together, right? You know? I should probably use magic, shouldn't I? Probably going to want to do magic. <sighs> Fine. Uh, meh? Okay. 
Okay, hold on. Oh, that was a bad choice. Uh, Trellis, I'm going probably to, uh... Okay, so if I can't use ice on you, can I use fire on you? No, don't you- thank you. No! Uh, bad breath. The worst. But I guess I'm immune, so that's cool. See if this works. Yes! Plants are flammable. That's one thing I've learned from video games. Undead and plants are both very flammable. Which is great. I like that. I appreciate flammability in an enemy. I mean, I'd rather just do stuff that isn't fire, but if I have fire at my disposal... Yeah, I never thought about that, MPO, but it, it is confusing. Fire three. Set them all on fire. Uh, also set them on fire? Also fire? Oh no, Realm died. How did Realm die? Hold on. Yes, no, don't kiss him, Marlboro. I did play Final Fantasy VII. I didn't like it very much, um, but I, but I want to. Uh, I want to play the remake. I will be playing the remake at some point. Oh, I bet that there's a save point here. Nope. Wait, hold on. Is this a way? Nope. All right. Generally, don't kiss bad guys, though. Like, like monsters? No. Yeah, well, one of the things that I liked about Crisis Core is that, like, I felt like the characters were flawed in it in a way that oh I should probably not use fire three well that's all right do I have fire two I don't even have fire two what how does that happen oh honey okay well we're just gonna bolt to them Oh no, you took health away from my party. Don't kill my party, please. I don't want you to kill them. Oh no, I'm out of magic. I should probably use an item. Elixir? I don't have very many of those. What do I, do I, do I not have the tincture? That's it. Use a tincture. Oh no, Cyan's dying. That's not good. Probably pay better attention to my party, shouldn't I? I'm trying to talk to you folks. I thought I checked Chrono and I wasn't, but okay. Realm needs to get some magic. Ah, Realm. Why are you? Oh. I mean, as cool as it is to bring about the end of the world. Have you considered being able to cast the level two spells? Who is that? No, it doesn't have level one. Probably doesn't need level one. Madwin? Yes. It's only fire two. Well, uh, there's gotta be a faster way to learn fire two. Surely. What? Really? Okay. 
I mean, I guess that makes sense. Okay, well, we're gonna get that. Oh, I should heal my party? Should I heal my party? Oh, I should heal my party! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm gonna run out of potions. That should be enough. Just like to keep you folks on the edge. Being like, gosh, what's gonna happen next? Oh. Oh yeah, no, there is no... No accuracy. Attempt, even. Alright. Does this take me all the way back to the beginning? Hold on. This is the... I don't actually know. Aha! There we go. All right, folks. Oh, wow, Locke is like out of magic. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised. All right, which of these boys should have something else? And what should that something else be? Uh, ribbons! That's a good idea. Who's less likely to die? Sensor <laughs> or Shadow? <sighs> Do you think so? Okay. We'll go with it. Oh, buddy. Okay, so I need somebody else to press that button, right? I want to level up by doing some more fights and then tent. But I guess I have enough tents that I don't have to be that careful. Right? I've got 93. Oh my god. Have I ever mentioned that Locke is my favorite? Oh, this might have sleeping bags! <sighs> yes, I fought a boss here. And I won, somehow. Okay. Oh, right, I forgot to tent with these folks. I should tent with these folks, shouldn't I? Oh. oh, you know, I can also drain magic with spells. I can do that. What's that called? Do I have it? Probably not, because I'm all... I don't need that stuff. Oh, I don't... I guess I do need that stuff. Okay, well, Realm could use... Oh no, don't kill! Oh no, is Iger gonna die? Shoot! I wasn't thinking! Quick! Fire through them! Realm will get it eventually. Alright guys, we gotta, we gotta kill them before Edgar dies. Then we have to use... <sighs> this isn't good. Yeah! Nine seconds. Nothing going so great, guys. Oh no! Realm died! I'm gonna have to use. Oh, the worst. I'll have to use a tent, though. Alright, let's see. How much damage do you do, Cyan? No! <sighs> well, good. I'm glad somebody got an experience out of this. He's a tent. 
Uh, that'll bring them back, right? He has a little crown on his, because he's a king. Oops. Okay, realm. Realm, honey. Yeah. You, it's not your fault. Oh, you died. That's right. She died. So she's not. Yeah, do I want Shiva or do I want Fire 2 first? Oh! Bam! It's a mover. We gotta relocate our couch. Oh, that didn't look effective. No, that's super not effective. What are you folks trying to do here? Do I hit you? I hit you. All right. Yeah. All right. Noted. Movers are weak to not magic. Is I gonna change something? Oh, I was gonna change something. Realm. But I want her to have fire too because it's so much less cheap. So much less. Cheap. So much less costly than Fire 3. But it seems like it's more feasible to just do that at random, you know? On boss fights? Uh, certainly non boss fights. What does Shiva do? Okay, that's fair. That's fair! If I had Osmos, then I don't have to worry about how expensive Fire 3 is. Strategy. We got it. Upstairs. Oh, there's a door. Oh, man. Oh, no. Some junk found me. Called junk removal. You know what you use against junk? You use electricity against things that are electric. See? Terra gained a level. Good. Oh. Oh. Cool. Cool. I have to do that whole section over again. Oops, no, set them on fire. I, it's distressing how often that's the answer. Can I just straight up say... This game... Oh, how did Realm die? That's not good. I don't want her dead. I should probably bring her back. Insta-kill attack. Okay, that makes... Because I was going to say, I would have noticed if she was low in health, which is a lie. I might not have noticed. I might have noticed. Alright, Realm. Yeah, I write about this game. And it has a lot of caves and fire in it, which sucks for me. But I'm doing it anyway. I'm, I've already written a scene in, in a cave. I've already written about a thing being on fire, um, but I haven't gotten to it yet. So you can look forward to that. And past Lauren, 
Why, why wouldn't fishing be the answer? It could be the answer. Bam, wow, 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 wow. Oh no, discount clerk. See, it's funny because you can't tell that this is the door. Okay, so we don't want to go that way. No! Uh, burmer. Okay, well, I'm going to electrocute the junk. There's a lot of people who would not be happy for that to be the order that one gave. <laughs> Please don't blow me up. It's gonna blow me up. No, you're gonna blow him up. Well, he's not dead, so we're good. All right. He's not dead. He came really close, but he's fine. Yay! Leveling up. The party's leveling up. I'm very excited for them. What does Cyan have? Raiden! I'm sorry. <laughs> is he gonna get strength? How else is he gonna get strength? <laughs> uh, I don't know, Moth Dude. It seemed like it did the same amount of damage twice, so I'm inclined to say it's not gravity. <sighs> Ragnarok was on Realm, but I concluded that Realm needed Osmos first. <laughs> Hey, you kill yourself too. It's good. Oh, hello. Ribbons in your hair. Edgar has ribbons in his hair. No, I don't want the radius. Want. No, I don't want to give you a Dirk. Da Vinci brush. Uh, what was it that we wanted? There was another one. What was it? Oh, was it near the top? Oh, we never did uncurse the shield. Oh, there it is. What does the force shield do, and who should I give it to? Oh, that sounds useful. Who should I give that to? Sorry. I'm only so sorry though, really. Yes! Goodbye! Oh, Flare! That's a special one, isn't it? Yes, that's Bahamut! That's special. Oh, but you're getting health! That's why! That's why you've got the helmet. <laughs> because you have no health! And you could use a lot more health. That's right! Isn't this the, like, make my party... Make my, make my boys... Yeah. This is the make my boys less weak party, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, I love them. Well, okay, I love this one. Setzer's fine. 
He's not, he's very melodramatic and tragic. Hey, check it out! We're in the Magitech Research Facility if you hadn't already recognized that we were in the Magitech Research Facility. Prometheus, are you gonna set me on fire, Prometheus? You look a lot like... Like you might be... Oh, that doesn't look good. I don't want that. Don't do that. Jeez. Okay, well, I'm going to th throw stuff at you. Oh, is it a tunnel digger? I, I took that out of my pick because it's kind of dumb. Please don't kill my party. Thank you. Good, my party didn't die. It looks like a motorcycle, doesn't it? Unless it kind of does. Hi, solitary kitten. Wow, 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 wow. Is there a secret door? No. Okay. I thought there might be. There was that one door that didn't look like a door. Oh. Um, this isn't actually a dragon, right? Like, it's not like a dragon dragon, like capital D dragon, right? No, don't know. Can I cure it? Why did it do that? What happened? What did it just do? Why did my party sit down? Stand up, folks. Oh, shoot. Okay. It, that was just big damage. Okay. Got it. I mean, or this could kill it and then I can heal my party. That would be great. But it didn't. Okay. Cure the party. Because that's not going to do it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh no! Don't die! Okay, hold on. Let's throw something that's not a dark. Let's throw like... Oh god, I've got so many dirks. So much broken math. Uh... Uh, uh, I've got just so many dirks. I could throw. This? Okay. Well, that worked. <laughs> the dirks are jerks. They're taking up inventory space. Can I do something about that? Maybe I can. All right. Man, so I had a friend who was like super amazing at fencing in college. I was not in college with her. I found out about this after the fact. But she apparently would like, she went to an all, all girls university. She would go fencing and she was really good and all of the girls would just like fall all over her. Wait, is this a dead end? This looks like a dead end. Is this a switch? Where's the switch? Is this a switch? Oh, the other party has to do the switch. Got it. I should probably put those on somebody, huh? Um, you're gonna use some magic. Uh, okay. Set them on fire because I know that's good against Oscar. Oh, right. <laughs> Pick an option, Lord. <laughs> I spaced out there. <sighs> oh, 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 can I? Oh, I don't have Osmos yet, do I? I'll get Osmos soon. Don't sketch. <sighs> Yay! We're getting some magic. Where am I? Bow, 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 bow. 
I guess I don't need... No, I've still got enough magic. I'm fine. Is this where I came from? This is where I came from. No, this is not where I came from. This is decidedly not where I came from. <laughs> Shall we do this, folks? Hold on. No? We shouldn't? Skip it? Why? Oh, nothing worth getting. Okay. They are really cute. One of my friends, um, her name is Sarah, and there's a lot of friends named Sarah. Um, so, and she really likes dragons. So she goes by Dragu, which was the name that she went by um, in middle school. And she's still friends with a lot of her middle school friends. Um, anyway, Dragu was awesome. Please don't do this. Oh no, they condemned me. I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> They're not rookies. Oh, I like that. Alright, well, Edgar's probably gonna die. You think so, Deep Shock? We're working on it anyway. No. Uh, not this is not looking so good for my team. Probably should have saved. Watch this kill them. If this. Don't you dare. I don't know what that does. But it didn't work. So now you're going down. <sighs> Go Terra! <laughs> that was a lot of experience. Uh... <laughs> Look, it's not my fault, Stone Light. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Did did she actually level multiple times? <laughs> she went up three levels. That's good though. She could have used it. Yeah, I kind of jumped the gun on coming to the tower <laughs> because he's close to life too. He's got life too. Oh, she does. Wow, Tara. Oh, you don't try talk. Why do you still have try talk? You don't because you needed try talk before, but now you don't. Who is it? No, no. No, but she needs to learn more healings. Phoenix! Who has Phoenix? Excuse me. Who has Phoenix? Wait. I have two party members who don't have anything equipped. You get Shiva. You're gonna get Phoenix. Edgar just doesn't, he just doesn't feel like having an S for Edgar. That's unacceptable, honey. Uh, what do you need? Try talk? Just in case? 
Or should he also get more strength? Okay, you can get some strength. This is fine. <laughs> he does have a chainsaw, but we're not using his chainsaw. Who has Phoenix? Mognet? <laughs> Excuse me, Mognet! Unacceptable! Good night, Deep Shock. Sleep well. All right, Magnet. Ah. Wrong button. Yes, I did reshuffle the party because that they were not in good shape. <laughs> All right. All right, Tara. You need to have life too. <laughs> it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt for her to have all of these. <laughs> yeah, but I like having them. Somebody else is going to have to find um a Save point first. Oh man, we're fighting. Goro and Melina had a baby. And that's what we're fighting. I think I got the right names. I probably didn't, though. Set them on fire! Now you're gonna set them on ice! Pretty sure there's a song. No, don't you know? Stop killing Realm! Was the purple? Isn't Melina the purple one? Okay, good. Very proud of myself. No. Still got some of these. Hey. Wait. Apparently, a sleeping bag will not bring you back from the dead, even if a tent will. <sighs> this is ridiculous and unrealistic. I demand my money back. All right, Edgar, are you ready to heal? And by that, I, I do mean cure. La 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 Oh hello. Ba -ba 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 -neo -neo. Okay, well <sighs> fine. I guess it's time for Mognet to shine. I want that. It's a treasure chest. Bling! Rainbow brush, not to be confused with rainbow bright. Oh, there's another dragon. There were two dragons. Well, we're not going to fight it. We're just going to peace out, folks. This is definitely Vector. So I assume that these folks, now that they've done that, oh, there's another treasure chest. Mega elixir. Okay, this is dead ended. 
Do I have to go back up this way? And then what? Gotta go explore, huh? But this looks like I should be able to go there, and yet I cannot. Unacceptable. But I suppose it does mean... Did I open a way for them? Alright. Oh, you know what I should do? I should save. Taxar. What does it mean by... Isn't tack like the stuff that you um, have for like a horse? Oh, you could like... You could like cast a spell. And you can throw some dirks. Let's throw the 90... The, the over 8 dirk. Yeah. That's the spirit! No, don't meteor me. Oh no, that doesn't look good. I don't want that. That didn't- that wasn't good for me. Cure Tooth Party. No! Oh, okay. We didn't die, so it's okay. Who should I give the good equipment to? Like, I guess I should probably identify which party. Sully's? Really? She's already pretty tough, though. I'm more worried about everyone else dying. Hey, T. Griff. Yes, this is this is definitely like the last dungeon. So. Just close your eyes and don't notice. Hold on, I gotta give him his dice back. Dice, 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 dice. Is it the fixed dice that I want? Right? Yes. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Which I know because. There we go. He's got the force shield. Hey, you did it, man. Oh my gosh. I should make like, I'm gonna try to get a tablet so that I can do more art and finish, finally finish my friend's cover art commission, but also do new kitty pictures. Oh, I thought I might give the force armor to someone else, like split the stuff up and one of the other parties that needs it. You know, like Setzer is now more resistant to damage. And then others, Uh, that's where I came from. This is not where I came from. This is a different path, right? Yes! Oh my gosh. Of course it's my boys team going up here. Yeah! Oops. Did I do it wrong? Scullion. What does that even mean? What does scullion mean? That sounds like it's an actual archaic word. Just throw some... Dirks. Throw some other stuff. Like a dirk. Or maybe a guardian. Oh! Oh, I knew that actually because in a. Yeah, they talk about the scullion maid. That's the girl who does the dishes. Scullery, scullery maid, excuse me, scullery, yes. Thank you. Well, I will say that robot does not look like it does the dishes. <sighs> okay, hold on.
I'm not sure what the purpose of that was. But I did it. Oh, it made a staircase. Oh. But not for not for this party. What can this party do now? Oh, I guess this party stays here. Oh, I see. Got it. Oh, I see. Oh. else have its party is just chilling over there. Oh, Edgar looks so serious as he goes to push it. Look at how serious. Look at him. He's like, hmm. It is the dish doer. Oh, Team Mog. That might be another sticking point. I apologize. We wind up having to do this dungeon over. Because <laughs> I did a bad job. Steel magic. Oh no, an atomic ray? That doesn't sound good. Oh, well, it turns out it was fine. We've got Sabin and Gogo. -Go. So, depending on whether I'm able to successfully execute. Okay, so this team's doing just fine because they haven't fought anything. How are you doing, folks? Mm. I mean, I've got like 90 tenths. I might as well just ten. Brink. Kingly tent. Does Sabin have a kingly tent? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out eventually. But not right now. No! Oh, oh my god, I'm so bad at buttons. There aren't that many buttons in this game. But... Ah, thank you, Blue Glass. They are, in fact, twins. All right, so now I have to figure out what I'm supposed to do here. Go this way, I, I guess. La la la, la 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 la, la 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 Wait, is this the way back to the exit? I am going backwards. No. Hmm. I am, in fact, Graham. I do not have my flute out at the moment, but I am, in fact, the flute. Okay, let's see if I can figure out where I'm going. We will find out shortly. Well, maybe not so shortly. At some point in the future, it will become ideally clear. Oh, thank you, young Thulu. My mom was really amused that she got to be mom the flute. Aha! I see! I see, I see! Uh, this is probably not the party I wanted for this, but this is the party that we've got. Alright. Oh, I was, was I going to equip something new on somebody? Does anybody need to equip better? Ah, that looks better. That looks better. There we go. Look at that. 
A new path opened behind them too. Should I go do the new path that opened behind them? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, hey! That sounds useful. Oops. Let's go do that. Inok. You are gonna get thrown at. I don't know which of the things in my inventory are things that you absolutely positively don't want to get rid of. Oh, stick with Team Mog? Okay. Well, then we'll just... Sorry, folks. Alright, team. We're gonna interrupt your adventures. Take a break to Team Mog. Oh no, don't freeze me. I don't want you to freeze me. Oh no, you froze me! That's literally what I said not to do, you jerk! <sighs> what a butt. Am I right? I should probably heal lock. I'm glad they can move when they're frozen. I assume they'll be unfrozen now. Yes! Levels! Oh, I need to tell my mom that the uh, the Untitled Goose game has a, has a two-player mode now. Yeah, I just, I don't have Fire One. Alright, let's see. Oh, shoot! Okay, let's see how this goes. All right, Blitz. I think I did the wrong one. That's okay. Uh, you're gonna do this. I did the wrong one. That's fine. Uh, they tell me that Grand Train is good. Yes, that's it. Heal my party. Good job, Magnet. So proud of you, Magnet. Honestly, Chrono, I think I'm more likely to get it right. I'm more likely to have more bum rushes if I enter them individually because you never know when I'm going to get it wrong. Oof. See? But it's entirely possible that Gogo will get it right. Oh, I should have um, not done that with Magnet. Oh well. Okay, let's see if this works. Probably not. I don't think I got it. Oh, I did get it. Yes. Oh, well. I was kind of hoping that would happen. Yeah, the, the tricky thing is that the D-pad is just not very good on this controller. Included battle program. Uh-oh, does that mean you're gonna do more damage? Oh! <laughs> gonna be ultras, huh? Yes, Lauren plus D-pad isn't the best combination, and this has a bad D-pad to begin with, so... that seems pretty useful, doesn't it? 
I actually feel like this team is okay. We've got the capacity for big damage. I mean, sure, Gogo does a third of the damage that Sabin does, but really... This is why we started this dungeon over. <laughs> Because <laughs> this team can handle things, and the other teams seem to be okay. And we're in Vector! Like, in Vector, in the Imperial capital, in the, like, Imperial headquarters building with those... I need to remember that those banners are there. Oops. I'm sorry, I realize that it's probably really obnoxious and really insufferable that I'm like, let me tell you about my fanfic, but I'm so excited about it. Like, so excited about it. Like, I have such big feelings about this game. And I get to just put them somewhere. Like, I get to throw so many words at them. It's really exciting, okay? Like, really exciting. Sure, let's just like throw to some stuff. It's silverware time. No, that's not okay though. Um, can you hit her so she doesn't kill us? I think this does it. Slap her out of it. No, don't kill us. Don't kill us. He's gonna kill her. <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted you to do at all. How come? You can't do that against like actual. Well, whatever. All right, we're gonna just throw some junk. Thanks, Chrono. Should we just put it in Flutie Bot? <laughs> I can do that, yes. <laughs> I have the ability to do so. Now, now, now. Sorry, the rest of you don't get to post links because we had some people posting gross links. And consequently, we uh, turned it off for most people, just so that people can't like barge on in here and be like, "Here's a link." But Chrono has a sword, so he gets to do it. Because by Zelda standards, that means he's an adult. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear! Are we here? Are we here already? Do I want to do this? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. Um, um, oh, I'm panicking. I'm panicking a little, folks, I'm panicking. It's okay though, we're good. We're good. Uh, and it, I feel like I'm throwing guardians and they're becoming more guardians as I throw them. I'm a little nervous about that. I do have Illuminas, don't I? 99 of them. That is a lot of Illuminas. I haven't gotten their stolen light. Oh no, Blue's Light, why did you, why did you remind me of that? Oh no, that's the worst thing about Dark Souls, maybe. Because it's the worst thing because you're like complicit in it, you know? Whereas like so much of the rest of it is just bad things happening.
Oh, I got nervous. All right. Uh, you best be on fire. And you'd best be on ice. No? And then you're gonna hit that one. And you're also gonna hit that one. I don't actually know if this is a good idea. But I'm doing it. <laughs> you're in trouble, Blues. <laughs> That's what it means, right? <laughs> I used your full name. <laughs> I realized as I said it because I had just said something to Stolen Light <laughs> and then you were another light. You can see we have we have Stolen Light, Blue's Light, and Blue Glass. <laughs> it's very confusing. So in one of the Shining Force games, there's Rick, Eric, and Elric. <laughs> it's very confusing in similar ways. Alright, I guess we should like do this. Blue glass light. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really miss we do need a stolen glass. Uh... Hey blues, remember when you used scheming hacks <laughs> in, <laughs> in Dark Souls? It's a trifusion, man. Does that mean you become super gigantic and like have like a million eyes and limbs like Steven Universe style? Tent. Okay. And we're gonna say nope, no. Nope. We're gonna save. Then we're gonna try this. And we're just going to throw so many Illuminas. Let's do it! Let's do it! Okay, well, fortunately, I'm going to throw an Illumina. Oh, it plays this song. You've got an Illumina equipped. And you are going to throw... The song is so much fun to play on flute, by the way. I really want to do a cover of this. Wouldn't that be impressive? Wouldn't you be impressed? Hold on, I gotta find them. I've got auras. Here we go. <laughs> it's not gonna go away, right? I mean, I guess if it does, what's that gonna do? I don't know that he's throwing them. I think it might be glitched. No, no, no. No, it's good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Since my party is just equipped with Illuminas, we're just Illuminazing. Uh oh. I don't know what that means. But Setzer is unafraid. He's gonna do 264 damage against something that's playing the Ultima theme. <sighs> Let there be light, I suppose. Uh oh, what does that mean? What is this doing? Do I wanna heal? Oh, oh no. Oh no, fire elemental is ineffective. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Holy crap, Setzer! Setzer refused to be entirely upstaged by the rest of the party. <laughs> and he decided at the last minute that he was going to snipe that kill. <laughs> Alright, Setzer. Alright, my friend. This seems insignificant. I'm just destroying one of the goddess statues. No big deal. Wait, wait, 
isn't Reed Richards the guy who stretches a lot? And by that I don't mean like does like the splits, I mean like is made of rubber. Da -da -da -da. All right, what's this team gonna do? Um, probably. Oh, so we took down Doom. I get it. Oh, man. Okay. Do I want to do any of science? I could have used a temp, but I didn't blue glass. Because I might run out. <laughs> All right. We're going to go in here and cast some spells on her. God, she's, it's so beautiful and cool looking. Uh, is the is she actually naked in the original? Oh, okay. Fire is usually a good choice. Oh, she's bolting. That's not good. Uh, do I sword tech? No. Fight. That is definitely not the answer. That's a good answer, though. Oh, okay. That was not good. No, do not hit your friends till they drop. Oh no. Okay, well that's bad, we don't want that. Okay, so no lightning, got it. Fire's okay, we'll do fire. Unless I'm doing something wrong here. Right, we're fine. Oh, I should probably heal Edgar though. Sophie, I'm sorry you don't get to go out there. Oh, nice. Uh, what? No! Oh, that's bad. Okay, so we don't want that. She's gonna summon clouds. Oh no, what are you doing? What did you just do? What did she do? Are you serious? Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm working on it. Somebody else, please. Who has life three. Yes, you've got life three, right? Where is it? No, you don't have life three because you're working on learning it. Um, well, we're gonna die. Okay. This isn't gonna be good. Phoenix? Sure, why not? I don't know what this does, but we're gonna do it. Oh, is this life three on the entire party? <laughs> cool. I don't know what that did, but I did it. I hope, I hope it worked on somebody. Oh, is it life too? Well, that's okay. Oh, they're zombies. Well. <laughs> All right. Self, self. She's sitting with her face plastered to the plastered to my door. Sophie, baby, I know you're sad. Cause I'm on the computer again. It's the worst. Guess what I was thinking? I might do Chrono.
Yeah, that's a good idea. Relic. Who needs a ribbon? Everyone needs a ribbon. What? Okay, clearly ribbons don't do it because... Because he just got cursed. Is there anything that protects from zombie? I don't think I have a safety bit. That doesn't sound familiar. Makes body cold. Just the makes body cold again. Doesn't does that make you a zombie? Oh, I do have a safety bit. Oh, will the will the memento ring work? Well, we'll we'll try, but we should probably also get life three. Oh, I guess I could take off the sprint shoes. I suppose. I suppose. Let's give him. I mean, but I can just put the shoes back on when I'm done fighting the boss. This is the point. Atlas armlet, you think? Let's do it. Sh shall we dive right in again and see if that makes a difference? Or try to level up? Okay. Is Terra close? That's a good question. Terra, how is our life three going? Not, not close. All right, let's do it. We'd have to consciously level her up. All right. Hey, Kenny, we just got destroyed by the goddess. We're gonna try again. Oh, it didn't recall that I, well, it's okay. Yeah, we'll try morphing, that's fair. Did I bolt? Oh, I thought I, I, I thought I fired three. Uh oh. Okay, so no attack. Moral damage my party. Got it. Yeah, keep casting bolt on Terra. That's great. I, I'm 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 totally down for that. Oh, I could chainsaw, couldn't I? Maybe we'll try that. Uh, I mean, what else are they going to do with their magic? Drill, right. Okay, so we were correct in giving... Uh, the Marvel shoes are completely ridiculous. Like, completely ridiculous. <laughs> Are they gonna die? Is he gonna let my party members live? Oh man, we did it! Ah, good. And now I have an Excalibur I can throw. But we had them in case we did, Moth Dude, and that's what matters. 
Oof. Okay. So let us uh, go back to the relics as they were. You get earrings. You've got earrings. You're gonna get the running sprint shoes. Oh man, my allergies. My nose is all sniffles. Really, Chrono? Oh, that's true. Yeah, no. Um, Team Magnet has to fight a statue too, right? Well, what did I have you equipped with? Atlas arm? Ribbon. Might as well. <laughs> that's funny still in like yeah, the drill should the drill should do extra damage <laughs> if it's up against the statue. Bum, 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 bum. Do you folks need a tent? Probably. Uh No, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the cheap person's cheap thing here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I am. But I'm only so sorry. <laughs> uh, these folks are all missing magic though so they get an actual test Same tent. How adorable. Kingly tent. No, wrong button. I'll get it eventually. Yeah, we're gonna save because I will forget otherwise. Alright, let's do this. Well, let's try to do this. Does that door there on the left? Oh, wait, this. We can't go up there. Okay, we have no choice to go here. What is the game where you want to avoid being seen by the spotlights? Wait. <laughs> Metal Gear. It's not what I was thinking, but that'll do. Okay. need you to be able to heal the party. No, there's a there's an RPG where you get into a fight. I think where I think there's you have damage. Oh no, it's going to fire at me. Oh no. Oh yes! Yes! By some sheer quirk of fate, Gogo is I I managed to accidentally equip the special shield that nullify what the uh, the boss from that particular Party. Wow, it's amazing. Okay, I'm delighted by this bit of good luck. Yeah, I feel like Poltergeist isn't quite what they're going for here. Yeah. Hey, Tara! Yeah, exactly, Blue Glass. Like, it lucked out that, that way. Sorry. I'm trying not to die, even though my party's slightly broken, so we might be okay. But thank you for raiding. I am, uh, here going to beat one of my favorite games. And then we're going to talk about the ending and I'm going to cry. Why are we not healing? Was Strago frozen? Or Magna and Frozen? Oh, 
Alright. Yeah, we're gonna work on that. I think Magnet has life too. We'll find out. No, Magnet doesn't even have life one. Okay, well in that case. No! That's not okay, don't do that. Uh that sucks. Just do massive damage. Yes, just like that. Wait, Mog is stopped? Oh, he was stopped. Okay, that's why we were having trouble. Okay. No, well, this is gonna kill me. Oh, jeez. Okay, well... We're just gonna keep pressing on ahead. Sorry, Strago! Poor Strago. He did his best, though. He did a good job. Grand Train is useful. I'm glad I got that. <laughs> Mastered a new dance. Is it the dance of... Oh, I didn't even see that, the, that it was there. Haha. <laughs> Oops! What just happened? Ah, okay. So we defeated the statues, which seems like it should be a big deal, but it turns out it's not because Kefka ate them. That's not very nice of him. Do you need a tent? No, you got tented. You could use a tent, though. Wrong button. All right. Well, we did it, but I appreciate that it was like there was a little bit of suspense. We even lost to a, to a boss. So it was like not entirely just like cheesing our way through. Just slightly cheesing our way through. But we were also always safe. Sophie's really mad at me right now. Sophie! Imagine not using that save. Okay. Um, equipment how I want it. Does that mean that I should take sprint shoes off? All right, so normally what I do is I uh, just start with the best characters in my party and then have like backup characters. And if it gets past that, we're all doomed. <laughs> so like of this party, Sabin would be Obviously, A team and Gogo -Go might make the cut if I wanted another Sabin. In this party, obviously, Locke and Sellies would be good options. Setzer and Shadow aren't absolute garbage, so they might make it to the secondary team. And again, Edgar and Terra are useful, and Cyan's not bad. And Realm's actually not bad either, because you guys convinced me to make her useful. <laughs> Turns out, if you put a little effort into characters, they become better. Yeah, Blue Glass, that's 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 ideally what I uh, what I hope. That's what I hope for. Okay, does anyone here have the running shoes? Cyan, you probably don't need those. Let's go with. 
Atlas armlet, just because if we get if it comes down to it. Okay, so like everything else. I okay, so. All of my A team has life three. I think, with the exception of apparently. What does the jump box do and who should I give it to? Should I give it to Tara? Oh man, that plus economizer would be a great fit. Jeez, wow. Wrong party. Wrong party. Sorry, I got distracted listening to the music. Gem box. Do I have the gem box? Are we sure? Ah, oh, X magic. Okay. I think. Yeah, so she's got Osmos. We made a point of giving her Osmos. Does Realm have Osmos? Did she finally learn it? Yes, good, good girl. And I think I'm pretty sure Sully says it. Oh gosh. She also has Osmos. Okay. Right. Shall we? Oh my god, we get to hear Dancing Mad. Hopefully it's not over too quickly. Because I want to hear it all. So. My sister doesn't like Dancing Mad. But she's wrong. Alright! Good night, Young Thulu. Thanks for coming by. Take care of yourself. It's interesting because it has the music from the cult of fanatics, kind of. But there's this, like, extra layer of wrongness. And Kafka's laugh, which at this point you haven't heard in a while. So there's kind of this, like... Ugh, reaction to it and I really appreciate that they didn't just like yes a lot of Kefka's tower is recognizably made of pieces of largely vector stuck together but this design right here these spires nothing else in the game looks like this this background with the with the fire and the and the the, the red and just this like horrifying thing this does not appear anywhere else in the game. So it's very it's very cool that the floating continent is very much its own thing. It's also very cool that this is its own thing. Like they both have that like very special, um, this is a unique and horrifying place. Like this is a remarkable and important place that you're in. There's he had faith in us. He's like, no, I figured you'd make it here, but I had to make it hard for you. Notice how it's completely floating. Like, it's not even connected to the rest of the world. I 
Exterminate is a word we're allowed to use. Thanks, Ted Woolsey. Like the screaming sounds. And see him just like... By the way, here we have like some, some thesis statements for this game. Like it's a game about destruction and it's a game about rebuilding. It's a game about hope. A story about hope. funny playing this as a kid it hits completely differently um like you know 25 years farther in life this line has more meaning as people that you know start dying and you have this realization that you maybe didn't have as a kid that mortality is inevitable. Although oh, it was while well, this game came out actually that that first hit me, which I think is part of growing up. So I have a weird association with some parts of this game and that realization. Yeah, so it turns out that life isn't, life isn't a a tally mark of, of, of how many points you get. It's not like you have to earn your keep or prove that you're worthwhile because you did sufficient things. And that if you don't do enough and get a high enough score, your life wasn't worth living. Like, that's one of the things that's so frustrating about people trying to put a dollar value to a human life. That's not what matters. That's not who you are or what your worth is. And even if you're super, super ultra motivated to try to, you know, accomplish as much as possible, I think a lot of people feel like they have to do that in order to deserve to live. And so some of us who are like that, like, put such pressure, but that's not where your worth comes from. You know, you're still worthy. Even if you live a quiet life, you know, even if you don't change the world or even change any one person's world, it's okay. So Tara finds meaning in the, the connections between people, the ordinary mundane life that she didn't get to have for so long and she gets to have it with a family, with friends, with people who look up to her that she can care for, but not in a going out and fighting monsters, sort of saving the, the world kind of way, which I mean, she does when she has to, but that's for Tara, not where meaning is. Yes, life and joy are their own worth. This Kafka's line about this, I didn't understand fully as a kid either. Yes, love. The fundamental underlying heart of this game is the, the love and connection between people. Sophie! Sophie, come here. Yes, a lot can can let go of of loss and death and 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 live in in his his life that he has in front of him and the people who he has around him. But Cyan also understands. It's interesting to have Locke and Cyan side by side, like have those be the two lines that are next to each other because Locke's is all about letting go of the lost and science is all about holding on to the lost, but it's different. Oh, Shadow. But he still thinks that he can't have those things. See, this is this sort of thing is why when people are like, Edgar's just a fop, but I'm like, his, his dream 
is to be a good king for his kingdom. His dream is for his kingdom. That's his motivation. Like the foppishness is kind of like slightly, slightly for fun thing, but I think it's, I, I personally think it's mostly a Bruce Wayne persona. Um, he, which he has fun with, but fundamentally Edgar is someone who takes his role as king very, very seriously. Oh man. And Savin is like, I turned my back on my brother when I turned my back on responsibility and it turns out my brother's really important to me. It's true. It's, it's the relationship between us. It's the love between us that's the most important thing. See, this is why I say that Sully's has, she doesn't have a lot of love or forgiveness for herself because she doesn't just say like who I am. She says what I am, you know, a former general who caused many people to die, you know, who's, who, who uses magic because espers were tortured and then she was imbued with their power like um I I just really like these characters okay Caselli's has a very hard time accepting herself but somebody else accepts her and kind of sets that example Strago's like realm's pretty great and this is really, really sweet from Realm. Like, as much as she teases him a lot, she actually values and appreciates him. Which is one of the nice things about his little side story. Setzer. You see, like, again, like, it's it's every single person here talks about their, their love and their relationship. Every single statement from the characters who are actually characters. Sorry, Gogo -Go and Mog. Um... It's, it's all their connections. It's all their relationships. Kyogo just doesn't even say anything. See, when I was a kid, I didn't know what a self-help booklet was. So I did not fully understand. My slightly older than me sister thought it was funny. Amaro's not here. Amaro and Gao are back on the ship. So they're not present. I don't get to choose from them for the final battle. Make you all disappear. Kafka, maybe this is a bad idea. Just wrecking some more stuff. Yes. He's even destroying his own his own tower. He doesn't care. Yeah, I like the fan art that people have drawn of Umaro and Kao <laughs> working the airship because they're the ones that people leave behind. Yeah, and like, Kafka is so full of just, like, he just wants to destroy everything, but he doesn't just want it to not exist. He wants it to suffer into non-existence. And yet it, it, is, it is menacing to have his theme here because all of the stuff that's happening is very big and his theme is actually very small and very simple. So it's, it's an interesting juxtaposition. Like, like, what broke in Kafka? When did it break to make him like this? I've always thought it's because the, the magic, when he was um, given the, the magic, he was too old for it and his body and his brain rejected it and consequently he just snapped um which would be why they would then have given it to Sally as a, as a as a baby because she's had this since she was a young child um Kafka is actually canonically I thought he I always thought he was the same age as them and it was just an experiment that went wrong but he's actually significantly older than the girls so Wrecking everything. 
And like when you're playing this as a kid, you're really upset because you're like, I'm trying to stop him from destroying the world and he keeps destroying it worse. Just stop, Kefka, stop. All right. <clears throat> All right, so Sabin. Sully's. Okay, Locke, Tara, and Edgar. You think you think Locke, Tara, then Edgar? I guess that's true. And then I would go with Cyan Shadow Realm. Oh, go go. I mean, fortunately, we're not quite scraping the bottom of the barrel with these folks. They actually don't suck. Amazingly. Like, Gogo -Go is useful. As, and as much as having a second Sabin is useful. Shadow has the ability to throw the kitchen sink. Um, so I'm thinking, like... Why? Oh, Strago. You think Strago because because he'll die quickly? Chrono, you're prioritizing casters. Okay. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Poor Setzer. Oh, that's true, so we might as well go through them, get some damage out of them, and then the rest of the party can pick up. Fair. All right. <laughs> I'll try my best. Shall we do this? Are you ready, friends? Are you ready? We're gonna go late tonight because it's at least 12 minutes to hear the entire song and then it's a 16 minute ending. All right. She doesn't have life three, does she? That's somebody my party did. But I guess it's not her. Um. I think it's the best final boss theme. Ultima? <laughs> I'm glad we're all on the same page here. Where is life three? I thought I had life three. Do I not have life three? Oh, uh, Tara probably has it. Someone does. What do I cast with her? Or with who, who, who are we on? Locke. I don't remember if those are the right lyrics, actually. Yeah, 
Yeah, but there are actual lyrics. And I should technically know them. I don't know if I'm gonna- I don't want to kill it until I've got life three on the entire party. So we're gonna wait on Sabin. Alright, there we go. The whole party has it now. No, it does. That's why I wanted to- just in case. in the bottom does look a lot like a demon. And then we have a bunch of Sabins and a, and a Kafka in a little loincloth. Bum rush this now that I think about it. which are from a distant world's um, version of this song um, are in Latin, as you can tell. And they're all about like day of, like, like day of destruction. Like day of terror. King of Fire. Yeah, go look them up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix Sabin shortly. Here's the organ solo, which Wedge has said, um, Riverify, that's what I want, right? Wedge is the keyboardist in my band. Who has Reflect on? Like, maybe I should be more concerned than I am, but I'm just not taking this fight very seriously. Probably should, but I'm not. Sabin, Sabin time. Sabin. Oh 
Oh, that's not good. I pro oh, I do have this spell. All right, we're gonna do that. Cool. Thank you for pointing out that that's an option. Yeah, Wedge has said she'd, she'd divide up that organ song so that um, she doesn't play the entire thing. Because... Oh, hold on. Hmm. Oh, elixir, yeah. Not a bad idea. It's less about the menus being hard to navigate and more about me not being the most efficient person. I'm not a speedrunner and I don't have my menus memorized. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, so I'm kind of looking through menus and thinking about what I want to do. But you notice how there's like multiple Kefkas involved. This game is designed for you to be able to play it, even if you don't know exactly what's coming. So it is not a problem with the game that I have to think about what course of action I'm going to do. That doesn't sound good for me. Are you healing yourself? Hold on, I need... Good thing I hadn't done any damage to the enemy, I don't think. Oh man. Sorry. Alright. That was not what I expected to have happened there. I thought life three would do it, but apparently it didn't. This is the one that Wedge hasn't, um, that Wedge hasn't, uh, arranged for us yet. Goodness. Honestly, like, I am so overleveled that I'm not really worried about this, if that makes sense. Like, I'm trying to get, um, I'm trying to get my life three on my party right now because I don't know if I'm safe. So I didn't want to kill the enemies. Okay, so fire on the Kefka in front. We can do that.
Oh no! We're blind! The worst! Oh, I used the wrong one, didn't I? Okay, well, that's fine. Either. Didn't I use an elixir? I did use an elixir. Does she not have any magic? Did I do it wrong or am I muted? Oh, she's silenced. Okay. Please don't die. I mean, I guess this is why we've got... There we go, remedies, that's what I was looking for. Please don't come my party. Yeah, there goes Tara. Okay. One of them is down. That's good. Wait, no! Wait, you did you just life to What just happened? Oh my god. Did you just Did it just steal my my life to? No. Okay. Oh, shoot. Well, I didn't need Sabin anyway. <sighs> He's also the only one I have to play three. We'll see who's, who, we'll see if the next person, I forgot who we have next in the party. Oh, this is so epic. <sighs> oh good, it's Edgar, okay. Like, this was just, like, mind-blowing at the time. Like, and, oh god, playing this, this is the movement that my band can play, um, that we played live, and playing this on stage live is just amazing. It's really hard, but it's really good. And the art is just so good at having this, like, classical painting thing going on, you know? A lot does need a remedy, doesn't he? Well... Just in case. We, we divide this part up because it's so hard. Jeez, holy crap, I look away for like five seconds. Okay, well, um.
somebody I think still has um, life three on them, so. No? Okay. There's a. You've got life too, but it's not gonna do this any good. No, I've never used that. That's true. using the wrong items because I never use those items. I don't even have life to cheese it's scary looking. I don't like it. Oh I should have used cure three well that's alright. the worst. Okay. I assume Fire 3 is the right choice anyway. I realize I don't really know. Lock is muted again. Solace is muted. Right. I forgot about that. Okay, sorry. Also, I realize I'm probably really loud right now. Sorry. do some actual damage to the enemy. Alright, Edgar, looks like you might be our, uh, our cure person. doing this breakdown right here when you have an electric guitar doing a guitar solo is amazing I did tell people <laughs> we're gonna go over tonight because I know that just the just the ending demon character songs alone is 16 minutes oh it's trying oh, okay that's interesting soul and light well there we go we did it oh man They're like, we managed to land the airship here. But as a kid, you watch this happen and you're just like, no, no, oh no, oh no. Like, what's happening? And it's very upsetting. And there's so many stories in which magic has to leave the world at the end. And it, as a child, it was very upsetting. Um, I, I, I still am not super fond of it because it's so common. But yeah, to have that realization then of like, Tara is going to die too. Um, like it's one thing for the, the espers who in a way have kind of lived on past their lives to fade away and for magic to fade away. But for Tara who has, and of course as a, as somebody playing this game for the first time, you don't know what's going to happen with Terra, so you think she's going to die. So. <sighs> Alright. I have as a dream that I'm going to do this entire ending theme as a cover, 
Um, I've even I've been planning it for years. I even recently, earlier this year, wrote out who I would have as a featured soloist on each instrument. <sighs> I've listened to this track a lot. No, just count Cleric, they're in another world. They disappeared from this world, not from that world. They are different worlds. I was always dissatisfied with Cyan's thing being this like comedic moment of him dealing with a machine to save his friend because his hatred of machines is always played for comedy. But as I reflected on playing through the game this time around, he gets his closure elsewhere. Um, and in this case, that's kind of like him overcoming his, his, I guess, his fears that potentially come from his kingdom being invaded by Magitek. God, Setzer's theme is so, so good. <laughs> so even if they take the <laughs> yes Tom you know me <laughs> you know this is like a curtain call oh my god I love this I love this I love this it's so good. It's so good. Just, just another coin flip. Cause they're brotherhood. moment. Yes, see, Mognet is playing the role of Mog. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't, if you haven't seen this ending before, like, yes, that is how it goes. It's a good song, even if I'm largely indifferent to Moogles as actual, or, or Mog at least as a character. Like, so much of this is comedy, actually. Not all of it. Like, Sabin's moment is a really good one. I play as a Lollafell, so I like them just fine. You know, the way the character seems, like, just the, the degree of motif happening, the character motifs is just amazing. Yeah, they just all fall over because they're scared to death of the Umaro thing. Yeah, no, it's 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 clearly like the entire end section is so dark and heavy that this is kind of like a little bit of like goofy. There's a fair bit of humor in it. Like I said, it's not entirely humor. Yes. Yes, it does, Chrono. It skips them if you don't recruit them. I think. I have friends who play tuba, so this would be a duet. At the end, if you don't recruit Tara, she shows up to fly you out. It's actually a mirror image, but... Oh, 
Uh, his shiny shiny is his object. All of the objects on the table are very significant to the characters. I haven't been talking about that. It just makes this like cute little like gal face. Um, the, 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 the theory about Gogo that's actually represented is that they are um, Setzer, not Setzer, um, uh, Shadow's lost friend, um, Barum. But the fan theory that I think is fun, but is absolutely not in any way supported by the game, is that they are Daryl. Um, it's more melodramatic and matters more, but it does not have any basis whatsoever in the game. You can't say they're not a ship! Look at this, guys! Their things are on the table together! They get an ending together! <laughs> listen for it, listen for it. On the French horn. I've drawn this scene. That's his bandana that she dropped. The day that I have like dry eyes during that, even just listening to the soundtrack, they'll know I'm an imposter. <sighs> yeah, their themes just fit so beautifully together. Her taking care of him is really sweet. <laughs> she like picks him up and, and puts him on her back, right? She's trying to anyway. <laughs> and then like as much as she's like the bratty little kid, but then when she says that, like there's that little fundamental underlying love in her. <sighs> Shadow! characters in this game are just like mired in self-loathing completely convinced that they are unworthy of forgiveness or love and you just want to like scream at them like shadow what good are you doing who cares that you've done things you aren't proud of how many people in our party have done things they aren't proud of you know You have a chance to live a life with family who would love you. But actually, with what he says there, maybe he is going to throw off being Shadow and become himself again and go to Thamasa. You know? Maybe he'll go as himself instead of pretending to be someone else. I would like that. I think I'm gonna go with that. I think that makes more sense. Cause 
because it's very frustrating for him to once again decide to Yeah, I think that I like that chrono. Shadow dies in the tower and Clyde goes to Thamasa. Because that is actually kind of what he's... He, he doesn't... Because he, he says I'm going to get a fresh start. I would be so happy for him. It never occurred to me until just now that that could be the ending. But I think that's it. I think I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I, I will, Chrono, it will go. That is the ending. That is That will be Shadow's ending, but we're still a little ways away from there. <laughs> and at this point, you don't know if she's going to live or die. You think, you think that she's probably not going to make it because it is such a dramatic game. And just the, the, the amount of, the, 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 what they're able to accomplish with the sprites there. You see Edgar turn to Setzer and Setzer's like, yes, and he's on it. Like the two of them like just like instantly communicate like, like they're on it. Yeah. And here she is. We're gonna end with new life. And as a kid, you're just like, no, 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 no. Tara has to make it. And Celis is the one, like, she's checking on everyone, but she's looking for her. And we got her. I guess Setzer did some fancy flying to catch her. of this stream has been like this series of streams over the past however many months oh, I was right number I was um, but a lot of those have been uh, like it has been me sharing information with you talking to you this has been like this ending this section is just just for me <laughs> oh Sarah you're playing it blind oh my gosh Okay, well at this point there's nothing to see or do, we're just getting credits, so... <laughs> but do run away before we talk about the ending. But thank you so much for raiding, this is one of my favorite games of all time. And so I'm sharing it with people, I'm not blind. Um, I have a band named for this game, I love it very, very much. But I've been playing it over the past, off and on over the past eight years, eight years? eight months <laughs> because I started actually on my birthday because I wanted to show people who hadn't played the game what the experience of it is like and also I have a lot of thoughts and feelings about the um oh yeah no the mode 7 is out of control here um, but I, I like to talk about the the story and the characterization um, and so I've done a whole lot of kind of talking about interpretations of the characters, um, 
what makes the story so powerful, why I love it more than any other game. Um, yeah, I know I have, a, I have a video game cover band called The Returners, so I get to say I'm the leader of The Returners. <laughs> Being a, a lifelong goal, uh, satisfied. We've played at PAX and MAGFest and things, um, and I've dressed as Locke, I've dressed as Terra. I have... Yeah, I guess it's, I hadn't really thought about that, Moth Dude. Um, <laughs> the colors, now that um, Kafka is gone and is no longer, like, leeching the life from the world, it, it's gone back to normal. I'd forgotten about that detail. But it is, yeah, it is after, after so long with, like, a sickly dying world. Even if they don't show you what happens afterwards, oh, Ted, we'll see. Even if they don't show you what happens afterwards, you kind of, the music kind of tells you everything's okay, but also having the, the world visibly return to some semblance of normalcy kind of gives that, that hope for the future of, um, especially because the whole point of the game is that we will keep going and we will keep rebuilding no matter what happens. Um, it just wouldn't... It would be thematically inconsistent if there was no sense that it was going to be okay. Like, the world will never be what it was. Um, and it will take a very, very long time for it to recover. Um, but it has a chance now. And you can have realistic hope at this point that it will, you know? And that's part of why as the pandemic hit, as, you know, a lot of terrible things started happening or became apparent, um, I wanted to bring this playthrough back because it feels like the world is ending sometimes. Like there are days when I wonder if the world as we know it is over. Um, but no matter what happens, we have to keep fighting for each other, for ourselves. And, and it could get really bad, but if we stick together and we try our hardest and we don't give up, we can make sure that there is still some hope in this world and we can make it a better place. Um, and so I feel like experiencing a story in which the world literally ends and being reminded that the, the most powerful thing in the world is the love between people, you know, even here as we see the new life, that, which of course is very symbolic of rebirth and the regrowth of the world um, around us. Um, again, it's, it's the love and the relationship between these people that is where that hope comes from. Um, and I would say, um, like I think something really important to remember is that we're not alone even if you feel alone or lonely there there will be someone you can reach out to and I think it's imperative that we do you know I mean we are even here in this in this in this channel like we're we're all over the world um, and we're having this experience together yeah they fixed that house and that that plant that you think there's no way it's going to grow there's there's no hope and no chance that it's going to grow they keep waiting for those seeds to sprout and then they do there we have the figaro's looking at their castle at their people. Figaro will prevail. Like, life goes on, even, like, tragedy can, tragedy can strike 
and life will never be the same, but it can still be worth living. And I just think that that's, I don't know, as a, as a young child, this, this, this game, y yes, I love melodrama, I love tragedy, I love the over-the-top, like, excessively dramatic story and character themes. But isn't that a beautiful sentiment to end on? Like, they can't just snap their fingers and everything is okay. This happening doesn't undo any of the tragedy that has happened prior to this in the game. But life goes on and new, good, beautiful, wonderful things can happen. And yeah, Tara gets to let her hair down physically, literally, and metaphorically. <laughs> And she, she gets to just figure out who Tara is. And I would say Sully's has the same. Yeah, the amount of extra artwork that they did for that ending. It's just, it's so powerful. It's so beautiful. And it's, it's not like it's an unearned happy ending, you know? It's not, it's, it's, it's not too easy, but it also doesn't, it doesn't wallow in its darkness either. It wants you to take away a mes message of hope. Um, yeah. So who here has not ever seen the ending of Final Fantasy VI before? Like, I know most of you <sighs> seem to remember the how to play the game mechanical part at least a lot better than I do, and I certainly got a little bit mixed up um, along the way. So Blues, you'd never, you'd never experienced this game before, or at least the ending of it. Um, for, I don't know if, if, if many of our visitor friends are still here, but for those of you who come to my streams regularly and who know me, um, I hope that you can understand why this game is my favorite of any game. I love, I love Final Fantasy IX very much. Good night, Nick Online. Sleep well, and thank you for joining us. Mm. <laughs> thank you, Axel. Yeah, well, like, and this is, I'm just going to talk for a bit, and I hope that's all right with you folks. I know some of you will have to head off to bed because we've already gone over. Um, I feel like there's a certain realness and consequence and coherence that this game has. Like, is it perfect? No. Is the storytelling in it perfect? No. Um, tonally, it, it's all over the place. Um, but it, there is no point in it in which I feel that the story falls apart, which I feel like every Final Fantasy that comes after it has some equivalent. And even some of the ones that came before it, like basically a chandelier descends from the ceiling, everything falls apart, and suddenly we're fighting a big bad, and all the things that were character-driven and world-driven and, 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 and emotionally relevant to the story just kind of fades away and it's like, oh, now there's like another world that's evil. Or it turns out traveling through the time in the past, personalities and things were different. Um, whereas here, everything has that emotional relevance to the story and the characters that you get to know even in the early stages of the game. Um, and it's so powerful. The, the villain destroys the world. He accomplishes his goal and everyone lives in terror. Um, and to be willing to go there and have that not be like an oops, accidental scary ending or something that gets erased or undone. Um, cause there are some dark things that happen in Chrono Trigger, but ultimately you can kind of undo a lot of that. Um, and it still feels... A lot of the consequences in Chrono Trigger, it feels like you're playing a game. 
it feels like you're you're being told a story. This game, for all that it is, you know, it is an opera. <laughs> um, it's an opera that's grounded in the very real pain and concerns of the people in it. And I love that so much. Um, I never thought about Final Fantasy VI being where some of my values system came from. And my, my world view. <laughs> Evil Hag, thank you so much for joining. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I know my playthrough of this particular game, even more than usual, has been very, very all over the place. Um, because, you know, there's been a lot going on in real life. Um, and this is just like I haven't been approaching this the way one normally does a blind stream. Um, but... I, I don't know, I appreciate that, that you folks are here to, to come with me on this journey and let me show you. Because I feel like here I've been showing you something that is very dear to my heart. I feel like, yeah, I, I can see that stolen light. Um, and at the time I, I enjoyed the tonal shifts um, when I was a kid because I had a sense of humor that um, appreciated more comedy than I've, I've, I've kind of grown out of liking comedy, which is not a good thing. It's just kind of how I am. Um, but wow, like I... How many, how many times have I said we have to hold on to hope even when it seems hopeless if we just have to reach out to each other? And it's through through our relationships, through our love for each other, that we're able to save the world. Like, that's, that's, that's it in a nutshell right there, isn't it? And I'm not going to say Final Fantasy VI is the thing that put that in my head, or the only thing that put that in my head, but I think it was a big part of it, really. You know? Like, I'm going to talk about the damn fanfic again. Bear with me. Um, but the, the section that I read out loud a few... Oh God, was that like a month ago or something? Where Sully says hope isn't enough to overthrow the Empire. And Locke says, is it not? Hope won't fix problems. Hope won't make the impossible possible. Um, but it will give us the strength to keep trying and it can make the improbable possible if that makes sense like i've had people call me on and, and not not necessarily unfairly on, on 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 any implication that hope can solve all problems um yeah hope isn't sufficient but it may be necessary i think that's fair i think once we lose hope we kind of lose our chance um and having hope may not be enough but we do need it we need it to live we need it to be able to get out of bed and i don't know this is part of why i encourage people to to reach out here we are we are so physically removed from one another you know some of us go months without you know touching another person in any capacity even shaking hands let alone hugging someone we love and it's hard it is so hard um like i think all of the the fear and anxiety of what's happening in the world some of the hardest to deal with is the loneliness um and so I do think we have to try to reach out to each other and keep those connections alive, even at a distance. That's why I'm really grateful to live in a time that we have the beauty of the internet allowing us to keep in touch, that I can, I can transmit my face and my voice to you. Um, and, you know, we can, we can talk with each other and be real to each other. And yes, we're just pixels on a screen. Um, but we can know that behind the pixels on the screen is another person, you know? Like, you feel like you can, like, reach the hand out and touch those pixels of someone's name and know that that's, that's a person, that's a real living, breathing person, or a robot if it's blues, um, <laughs> that's on the other side that you can, 
you can know that you are connecting with and having a shared experience, whether it's, you know, having a story, telling a story together like we're doing here with this, um, or playing games, or sharing your hopes and your fears. So, yeah. I, I'm really grateful that you've all been here for as regular as my streams have been over the past several years, for how regular I feel like the quality of my streams has been very up and down in a while. Um, and I worry, you know, because I, I do this because I like connecting with an audience, because I feel like I am real when I am, when I am seen in a way. So like, as much as I enjoy talking, oh, obviously, I know this is a big surprise, I like talking, and I really enjoy performing and being in front of a crowd. Part of that is because it helps me feel real and connected and like I'm mattering. Um, but so, I, but I worry like, you know, I, I was at one point giving something to people, having this, this space, and I feel like I haven't been as good at maintaining or providing the space as, as I would like to be. Um, and I have these unrealistic expectations of myself that I will be a, that I will be able to do things perfectly. And if I just stream perfectly, if every stream is exactly as it should be, then everyone will, who watches will have like a, a meaningful experience and will take away something good. And that will somehow mean that my life is worth living and that I have done a good enough job that it's okay that I am still here. But none of that is healthy. Um, so I've been trying really hard to control that and to accept that it's okay that I miss streams and that I talk too much and that I get distracted, um, that I don't deliver the same experience that I did five years ago, um, which is why it'd be interesting if we do return to Undertale within a couple of weeks, um, and see what that's like. Thank you, Stolen Light. No, and I'm not, I'm not saying this because I'm trying to milk you all for reassurance. It just, um, it's, it's interesting, um, what goes into this and I don't know. I feel like it's all wrapped up somehow. My philosophy or approach to streaming, my life's mission statement, the thesis of Final Fantasy VI, um, you know, I don't know, Squizgar, I could use a fresh take on Deltarune, um, because I'm not gonna lie, 2018 was one of the worst years of my life, um, and not having a cat step on the keyboard at the end. Um, but I don't know. Let's get through, perhaps, what we're going to play of Undertale. I don't know if I'm going to play the whole game. I, I don't know. Um, but, uh, I will be talking so much. In place of discovering new things, I think I will be talking a lot. And it will probably be personal. Um... Like I so said, we're gonna probably return. Yeah, I'm probably gonna play the actual Deltarune release when it when it finally comes out. Um, I'm thinking because the fifth anniversary of Undertale is coming out, so I'm thinking, and it's on a Tuesday. So I was thinking I might play Undertale then. I'd want to play the Suikoden series for you folks too. Um, and yes, Axel, at some point we'll swap our consoles and then I can play Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I very much want to play. Um, but. We'll kind of see how it goes, and I'll play it by ear. I don't know what we'll do next week. Um, if we'll get started on Suikoden and then take a little detour into a... Uh... Thank you, Chrono. No, I appreciate it. See, Blue Glass, you say that, but do you have any idea how many hours I put into Undertale <laughs> the first time around? Yeah, Axel, I was thinking that, too. I was thinking that, that, that we, we may not have the opportunity to do it in person. Well, Kerner, we'll see how my memory is. If it's not a black hole, but it's somewhere between a trash can and a recycling bin, we'll see how I remember. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, we, we will be we will be revisiting Speak It In. Um I do have a I do have a switch, so we will be able to play Fire Emblem at some point. Um Yeah, Chrono, not just the fight with Asgore, but also <laughs> if you'll remember, we had some trouble getting to uh getting to Metaton as well. Um Yeah. So that's so that's kind of what I'm what I'm thinking is we'll have some uh we'll have some Undertale. Maybe we'll maybe we'll maybe we'll dip our toes into Sweetcoat in next week. Um that's true blue glass. And we'll see if my we'll see if my game playing skills have improved sufficiently that I have an easier time with the bullet hell nature of it. Um but yeah, so maybe because that is on the fifteenth. So that gives us two weeks. We could do Suicode in for two weeks and then take a take a break to do some Undertale. If you guys can forgive me interrupting Suicode in, <laughs> which is not a super long game. Um, but so it'll be a lot of not blind play. But, but Axel and I can trade our consoles and then we'll have Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is functionally a blind play. So... I, I knew what you meant, Blue Glass. I remember the sock drawer. <laughs> Thank you, Stolen Light. But I mean, it's but it's not just my stream. You know, like if I just wanted to just play games for myself, I could do that. Um, I want to share things with you guys, and I want this to be something that is fun for you as well. <laughs> Thanks, Chrono. Yeah, Axel. Well, I've still got your. I still. I've still got your Wii U in good shape here. So we'll. We'll get that we'll get that swap happening um and by then it should be a good amount of time that that everyone else will have played it <laughs> and streamed it so hopefully people won't feel compelled to sit in and try to spoil it yes your your wii u definitely did its duty um thank you chrono i'm really glad um i have a bit of a complex and i've always had a bit of a complex where i think about a past version of myself as of having been like the truer, purer self. Oh no, I, I've lost what what it was that mattered to other people. Um, as I've become a, a healthier, more more whole Lauren. Um, you thank your past self for what for, for what you did for yourself, and then you, yeah, that's right, Chrono. I think one of the things that's going to be really hard with Undertale is because of how much my life has changed in the past five years. And I I don't think I'll be able to play it without that being the very prominent part of the experience. So if your investment in Undertale and Lauren playing it is watching me cry, you can be pretty sure that'll happen. Because it's happening right now and I'm not even playing the game. <laughs> Just thinking about it. And I think back on when I played this game for the first time and the direction that my life has gone. I don't know. So yeah. Even the Sweet Odin games will be hard in their own way because I introduced the Suicoden to my ex-husband um, and that was something that was very important to us and it is important to me separately too um, but um, we make new memories sometimes even with the old things yeah thank you for joining me for Final Fantasy 6 I, I owe a lot of myself to this game as a, as a creator and a storyteller and a musician and an artist, as a person. So yeah, read my fanfic <laughs> if you want to see everything that I have to say that I haven't already said here and some of it that I already have. I think that's part of why I'm pushing myself so hard to get it done.
Yeah. I mean, I can tell you about the books and the movies that shaped me too, but this game, more than any other, in ways that I don't think I really realized until today, just how fundamentally that has shaped everything about who I am and what I believe and, and how I want to face the end of the world, you know? Like, if the world is ending, then let me go down trying to be kind. Then let me... Let me hold on to the love that I have and extend it like a rope to the other people around me and maybe we can pull each other out of this. Because none of us can do it alone, but if we work together, at the very least, we'll have had something that's more meaningful than anything. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. I feel like I... Yeah. All we can do is the best we have with what we've got, but part of what we've got is love. So, if there are people in your life who you love, treasure that. Keep those connections strong. Tell them you love them as much as you can in whatever way that you do. You know, I know that can vary from place to place and culture to culture, but yeah. We just gotta, we just gotta hold on to hope. I, my old website when I was in middle and high school um, was called A Ray of Hope. It was a single ray of hope from Castaway Shadows. And that was like 14 year old Lauren, but let's be real, that's grown up Lauren too. Maybe I'll try to reclaim that. I don't know where I got that line from originally. <laughs> Thanks, Evil Hag. Well, becoming an adult is hard, and anyone who tells you otherwise is simplifying things to try to make you feel better. But it's also incredibly powerful and beautiful, too, because as you get older and have more experiences, even the ones that hurt you will shape you into... <sighs> no, even the ones that hurt you will give you material that you can use to shape yourself. Um, it took me a very long time to learn that I didn't have to be shaped by the events around me. The events around me gave me the tools that I had to work with. They gave me the materials that I had. But I can choose how to take those materials and, and, and shape myself from them. Yeah, Blue Glass, that might very well just be from what um, Bannon says to Tara. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's I think that's my philosophy, stolen light. I think it's one of the things that really spoke to me so much about Talos Principle. The, the the moments in that game that I will never forget are the moments of love and connection and kindness that you stumble across from a world that is ending. I think there is a moment in which someone says, in, in which in which you find a message that says. Um, I'm going to come to you, and I don't know if I will make it to you by the end of the world, but I am going to try because I want to be there, and the effort of trying is important. And that, more than anything else in that entire deeply profound, like, soul-shaking game, that's the one, that's the one that is in my heart. <laughs> So, Stolen Light, in other words, um, Night in the Woods is, um, I believe in a universe that doesn't care and people who do, is a, is a line that particularly resonates with you. I think that's a good life philosophy there. I don't know if I believe if the universe cares or not, but regardless of whether the universe cares or not, people do care and that's what we have.
Yeah. And there were people who would tell me that <laughs> it is a very good quote. Sometimes even pretentious fanfic can have something important to say. I think you can find inspiration in the strangest places. Um, but what matters is that you got that from it. <sighs> yeah. Please don't give up. I know that's easier said than done. There have been times that I have had to have that conversation with myself. It's very hard right now. Things are very hard. I wonder if there is somebody who will be watching this on YouTube five years from now, you know, when my stream life has doubled, um, and sees this and is maybe younger and is like, what are they talking about? Well, right now, in 2020, life is very hard. But... We are persevering. There's a song about defiance in a... Transistor, which is another game about the end of the world and people who won't just sit and take it. And how you can't necessarily stop or change it, but you can do something and that matters. And it is it is love motivating you to do that something. That's the most important, most powerful thing. So yeah, if the world ends, at least we will have loved each other. And at least we will have done good and put, put kindness into the world. And really, whether the world ends or not, that's some of the most important things we can do, right? So let's do our best. Not every day. There will be days you don't do your best. I have had days like that recently. Um, but it turns out you don't have to have a track record of 100% for it to count. Um, turns out perfectionism is not actually helpful. So yeah. Um, <laughs> I should probably shut down, snuggle my cat, kind of wind down from this. Um, but thank you all for sticking around here at the end of the game and uh, having this moment with me um, and I'm looking forward to continuing to share stories and feelings and tears and also wishes with you folks. So good night everybody. Please be kind to yourself. Um, the kindness starts with you. Um, you don't have to you don't have to hate yourself to be a good person. It's okay if you've made mistakes. You know, everyone has. Um, just try to be kind to yourself and try to be kind to other people most of the time. And that's, that's plenty. Good night. I'll see you next week.